What's up guys, Hotra Frontier back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over what Ishizu tier limit is and how to counter it. So the Ishizu part of that is Ishizu support coming from the OCG. And um, basically they took these cards that aren't really good in other archetypes, maybe like Naturia as well. But they took these cards and they made a really broken uh, version because this plus tier limit is insane. Uh, tier limit itself, you know, when it gets sent to grave by an effect, they just go off. These cards help enable that by dumping cards from your deck to the grave. And not even your cards, to your opponent's cards. So your opponent has a certain strategy going on where they need certain cards in the grave, but like at a certain time, you're messing up that timing and you're also screwing them over too. So it's just so much, so much gain. Plus, the fact that they're level 4s, you can go into a lot of rank 4s now. Like Abyss Dweller, that's really powerful right now. But um, also we read this one trap card. This card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard. You can target one level four earth fairy monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And because you're gonna be dumping a lot of stuff, a lot of the tournament players are playing a lot of these as three of, so you can already see like, it's crazy, right? But um, I wanna go to the first card that I feel like you can counter them and um, really try to stop this tier zero deck as people like to say. But um, the first card we have is D Shifter. If your deck can run D Shifter, 100% do it because the ability to stop your opponent from just playing Yu Gi Oh right now is insane. And they're just going to be go like, they're probably going to T set and just pass. And this is your chance to like just kill them this turn, you know, before they recover. But um, really good card and everything's cheap right now. So you should definitely go ahead and pick up a play set of this. But moving on, we have Silent Graveyard. Only two printings. I actually didn't know this. I knew about the dual devastator version i actually didn't know that like it only had the one printing which is kind of crazy but um you guys should definitely go ahead and pick up your playset because this card just says no to any like graveyard shenanigans a dollar 38 not bad um i'd say pick it up soon because two days ago this is like a dollar it wasn't even a dollar 38 so it's definitely going up and people are looking at it moving on we have dimension fortress weapon this card says there's no dumping from deck to grave so if you, your deck can somehow summon this, or you're playing anti-meta just completely, 100% um, have this in your deck because this card's really, really good right now. Going into the Bissiel stuff, the Magna Hut, or otherwise known as Mutt, this card is really good because um, the first effect for all of them is you target a light or dark in the graveyard and you just banish it. So any of the cards that say Fuse and Grave, just banish them, and that's not happening anymore. When this card is special summon though, you can add a dragon monster from your deck to your hand. So you can go ahead and add yourself the Dreus Worm. And again, just do it on their turn as long as they control a monster, which is really cool. And if you're playing something like IP Mascarena as well, then you can take your Dreus Worm and IP Mascarena, make an Appaloosa, or um, if you're playing with other cards, you know, go into something else and activate this effect where it can just send something from your opponent's uh, field to grave. Preferably not a tier limit monster, but you guys get the point, something like that, right? And then moving on, we have Evenly Match, a card that just got reprinted out of Magnificent Mavens, otherwise known as Mama, why Konami? But uh, <laughs> $11 right now for one copy is crazy. Like if I could have thought, if I had known like years ago, I could have got a play set of this for $33, I would not have believed you. Like there's no way. It's just too broken to have this in the main sometimes and the side deck always so definitely consider doing that and then a bish draw like i'm saying like these cards can summon out uh level fours like crazy and then just go into your rank four plays so you should if your deck can play this definitely go ahead and play it as well because it's a good counter towards them but um moving on with necro valley really good card because this card again just says no to them no grave or shenanigans for both players too so it doesn't hurt your strategy there's really no point into not using the card you know really consider all your options the hollow printings again are really high right now the lowest copy right now we have one from duelist league the uh, duelist league promo a rare uh four dollars and five and fifty cents but um you know your play you should definitely go ahead and invest and get a play set if you don't have one already and then we have cosmic cyclone so this is really just any spell like the gates like not the gates destructions because um like mystic uh mst stuff like that because when they activate the field spell if you can just negate like destroy it immediately they don't get that that add which is really good and then we have uh dimension barrier this card just kind of says no to their fusion effects which you know it does hurt them a little bit 
which you kind of want to hit them from different angles in case of anything. So this is a really good card to kind of just stop that for the turn, right? Or your turn too. And then moving on, we have DD Crow. I think DD Crow is a type of card that will always be prevalent, uh, whatever format it's in, because it's just, it's just basic. It just says like, you know, you just get rid of something from your opponent's um, graveyard. Like that's really good. That's a really good card. And then the next card we have is Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. I think this is less good because it's more specific, you know, it has conditions on it and you could negate something in their graveyard, but then they just go ahead and activate another card to just kind of like place their monsters back to, from the graveyard back to the deck and then fuse. That's like the one thing, it's so like specific. If it was more like DD Crow, then you can really go off, but unfortunately it's not. Um, moving on though, we have the different dimension ground. So this card's really good too, because any card that is sent from the deck or just to the graver at that turn is banished instead. Really powerful, right? And then moving on, we have the <laughs> we have the Neko Main King. This card says that I'll read to you guys right now. This card says during your opponent's turn, when this card is in your possession, is sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, it becomes the end phase of this turn. So immediately just go, huh, you want the combo and do all this? Nah, let's not do that. End phase of your turn now. Really broken card right now. And then we have, of course, the Macro Cosmos. This card, you know, really cool. It's a walking floodgate. You love to see them. Anything sent to grave is just banished and said. I know you're, I'm seeing a lot of things that either say, like, you can't, like, just send things to grave or they're just banished because you really need to be on top of the of uh, tier limits this format and this is not just if you're a meta player if you're a rogue player as well you play a local sometimes it's still good to know your interactions as well you know always keep that in mind moving on we have ultimate slayer which i'm actually surprised is not 32 dollars it's like 20 dollars right now crazy last time i checked on this it was 40 but that's the market watching me anyway this card says your opponent cannot activate monster effects in response to this card's activation, and then you can send something and just send it to Grave. Plus, you can probably send, like, the Entis and destroy their uh, field spell, so every time they fusion something, they don't destroy something on field, which is good. But, um, yeah, really good card right now. And then, here we go. Finally, we're going into our board breakers. We have the Winged Dragon of Raw Spear Mode. If you think they're going to make a three-monster board, which, honestly, they don't brick, which I don't know how they could, They'll probably end with a three monster board but if not they already know that you guys have the lava golems right of course really good cards to side in from your um side deck probably like game two you know but um guys like that's it those are all the counters that i really thought of i mean there are there are a lot more trust me but the ones that i thought were like most prevalent and you know a lot of them are affordable too as well but um if you guys have any questions down definitely let me know down below what you would add in to stop tier limits because they're just gonna be broken in this format like everyone's gonna be playing them even more than usual right but um if you guys like this video make sure to give it a huge like comment down below again what counter would you use against ishizu tier limits and if you guys are not subscribed to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're updated the moment i upload a new video but guys that's it for me I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.